Hi guys, Jason here with the One Stop How To Guys bringing you episode 8 of Practical Drupal Development. In this episode, we are going to be resizing our image to fit the width of this content area and make it look a little more visually appealing to our end users. Now we're going to do this through something called image styles. Now image styles will dynamically resize and reconfigure our image to whatever specifications we decide. So it's kind of nice because we can then have several different image styles and upload one image and we can use one image style for the contents page and then we can use a different image style for, say, the view slideshow if we want to do it that way. And we only ever then have to upload one image and we can take that image and manipulate it in different ways so that it can be sized to fit appropriately whatever section it's being used in. So if we come up here to configuration and hover over media and click on image styles, the first thing we're going to see is the three image styles that come prepackaged with Drupal. You can see there's a thumbnail, there's medium, and large. And right next to them, you can see that they've also added the image size specifications that these images will be reconfigured to. So for example, we can choose large for our content's actual page. Say it's a news article. When you land on the news article page, the image will be 480 by 480. But then we might use the medium for the news overview page, and that image will be 220 pixels by 220 pixels. But it's still one image, and we didn't have to upload multiple images to accomplish this goal. So let's create one of our own. Let's click Add Style. And it's going to ask you for the name of your new style. And we're just going to call ours homepage slider and click create new. So here we are at our image configuration page. If we click the drop down here, you can see that we have options to crop and resize and scale this image in any way that we really want to. So what we want to do is scale our image up. Now image Image styles is kind of uh, one of those modules that you just have to play around with in order to get your image correctly. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell it the width that we want this image to scale to. And that's 960. And we also want it to scale to a height of 400. Now what this is going to do is this is only going to scale down those images that are higher than these specifications. So if you have an image that's 1000 by 200, it's going to scale that image down to a width of 960 and an appropriate height. It will not upscale it to 400. And the same works if you have an image whose height is greater than 400 and whose width may be smaller than 960. Now this isn't exactly what we want because this is not going to crop out any region of our image. It's only going to find which one of these specifications it hits first and scale it down that way to the matching appropriate width or height. And that's not what we want. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of this 400 here because we want all of our images to be scaled to a width of 960. And if we click this allow upscaling button, it will take images now that are smaller than 960 and scale them up to 960. So go ahead and click add that effect. And just to show you what's happening here, if we close this down, and then edit our view and click on the image for our view. We can then change this image style here to be the new image style that we just created. Click apply and click save. And what you'll see when Drupal refreshes is that our homepage slider images have now been resized to a width of 960. Images larger than 960 will be scaled down. Images smaller will be scaled up. Now the problem here is that our widths for each one of these images are actually 
slightly different here. And you can see that our, our text link is moving up and down. And that's not really something that we want. We want this to crop to a specific height so that our slideshow isn't causing our page content to move up and down every time we change slides. So if we come up here to configuration and media and then click on image styles, we can click on our homepage image style and we'll be taken back to our configuration page. We're going to select, click the drop down and select crop out of the options there and click add. Now here we are going to choose the width and height that we would like this image to be cropped to. We know we want a width of 960 and we do want a height of let's just say 400. Now right below that we see the anchor options and this is where um, image styles is going to position this crop. So if you select this top left corner, it's going to crop this image in the top left corner. Not exactly something we might want. We're going to leave it in the center so that when it crops this image, it's going to crop it from the middle of the photo. So click add effect. And since we already have this image style selected for our homepage slider, when we close this and Drupal refreshes, it's automatically going to apply those effects to our slideshow. So now we have uh, an area for our slideshow that looks a little bit better than it did before. Now what you'll notice is that this photo is kind of just okay in the area that it's cropping and you can at least see the content. But the other image here isn't really showing us much of anything. We know that it has a white and black checkered floor and this kind of brick background, but we're not actually seeing that. So if we go into our image styles and select for this to crop at the bottom, this image might look right, but then our other image is probably only going to show the bottom of the H here, and that's not what we want. So image styles is a little bit limited as to what it can do with its cropping regions. So what we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to install a module that allows us to choose which section of the image we want to actually crop out and display. So for this image, we may want to crop out this exact section that it has chosen for us. But on this image, we're going to take it and crop it along the bottom. And this module is going to allow us to do that and change the crop region for every single image that we upload. So if you like this video, make sure you like it, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you in the next episode of One Stop How To Guys Drupal Development. I'm not going to